Shared file folders are one of the main ways that your end users are going to interact with the platform. Uh, so let's do a quick walkthrough on how to set them up and how they work. Right. So in your fleet back end, come down and hit the folders tab. And then to create your first shared file folder, all you have to do is hit create folder, select the group the folders in and name it. Uh, that's it. And you have your first show, shared file folder. Everyone in that group can share files through it. Now you may want to make folders public from time to time. So in our example here of a uh, university, uh, you may want a folder of university logos or your organization logos that are then shared to all the groups below. So you can see right now the school logos and designs a folder is below, it's owned by one group, but it's been shared in no other groups. So we can come in here, switch it to public. Now it's shared with all of the children groups of its parent group. Uh, so it's shared with, there we go, uh, with all of these other groups. Now, the way to uh, more easily kind of visualize the groups you're sharing to is if you come to the groups tab and come to your visual group layout. Uh, for a lot of people, this may not matter if you only have one or two groups, but here you can see that folder was in the admin group. So when it was uh, made public, it was shared to every group underneath the admin group. Had that folder lived in the architecture department, it would have been shared just uh, to the children group groups here, not to general students, engineering class and whatnot. So now let me show you on the front end how your end users will interact with this. We'll come into the design library. And uh, now I can see all the shared file folders. Of course, I'm in admin right now, so I'm seeing them all. Let's see. Okay, so if I was just in a general student in this university, I see the general student uh, folder and then the, the children folders for, for general students. Right? Uh, I can see the designs that are in there uh, because I have permission to do that. You can also set permissions where people can not see other people's files and only their own. Now for anything that's been shared down to me from above, from groups above, that shows up in public folders. So this is where that school logos and designs uh, folder would show up. All right, and that's it. That's the basics of shared file folders.